From birth, the children of the North hear tales of the end of the world. Ragnarok. When wolves will swallow the sun and moon, when the stars will be snuffed and the earth will tremble, when the gods will face the tribes of giants in a final battle that will ravage all the nine worlds, all father of the gods, Odin, has always smiled upon the human race. To the most devout of his followers, he entrusts stones inscribed with his personal rune, a mark of his power in the human world of Midgar. These rune stones are protected by only the most valiant of human warriors until the day they die and are taken by the Valkyries to fight alongside Odin at Ragnarok. Of all creatures, only one does not fear Ragnarok. The evil god, Loki. Bound deep in the bowels of the earth by Odin himself, only Ragnarok will set Loki free to have his revenge on gods and man alike. And it is only the power on Midgard of Odin and his runestones that holds Ragnarok at bay. People of Wotenkeld, we gather this day to honor one from our midst, younger than any ever so honored. He is yet wise and strong beyond his years. He has carried shields in the battles at Hindal and Uthabi, and aided in the fortification of this village, following the dark tales we have heard from the Northlands. Through trial by single combat, he has proven Day, that he is ready to take a place among the warriors of this village. Ragnar, son of Jarl, kneel here before the runestone of Odin and hear me. You must now put aside all childish things. Swear yourself to protect this stone and the village that surrounds and upholds it. Swear to stand beside your sword brothers until death to defend this holy shrine of the All Father. Raise now your sword and take up the glorious duties of the Odin's Blade. guys, welcome to Rune. I have been in a Viking mood ever since I saw the movie The Northman, so I just had to come back and play this game again. I've been playing this game for like 20-something years. It was originally a PC game. I'm trying to get used to the controls real quick because I haven't played it on, uh, I haven't played this in about eight years or so, but, um, yeah, I mean, it was originally a PC game, and believe it or not, these graphics were really, really good when it came out. I think it came out in, like, 2000 or whatever. And, um, I actually originally played it on the port to the PS2. Oh, yeah, Ragnar can swim. Um, yeah, I actually originally played it on the port for the PS2. I think it was called, like, Rune Viking Warlord, which is a pretty badass title. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love this game. This game is pretty much what got me into Norse mythology and Vikings and all that stuff. I mean, I played this, I guess, in like, I want to say 2002, I think. 
In fact, uh, this is the game that got me to buy my very first uh, memory card for the PS2. Basically, I got like halfway through the entire game, and then I fell down a uh, mountainside, and my character got stuck, and I couldn't. Uh, I had to turn the PlayStation 2 off and I had to start all over again because I didn't have a memory card. I was trying to milk it, you know. I was like, fine, fuck it. Let me go out and buy an 8 megabyte memory card for the PS2. So, a lot of fun memories of this game. Yeah, I mean, this is what, like I said, got me into Norse mythology and Vikings and all that stuff. I mean, when I first played this, I was like, I don't know, 14. I mean, I didn't know anything about this. I didn't know who Loki was. You know, Loki's kind of a joke now, thanks to Marvel, but I mean, he's a pretty interesting deity. Yeah. I always thought the sky looked cool in this game. Let me save. Yeah, I'm excited to be playing this. I bought it on Steam, and I was like, fuck yeah, let's do this. Uh, my only beef with the game is Ragnar doesn't talk, which was kind of a thing back in the day. Stupid thing. Hit the use key. What's the use key? <coughs> Control. Okay. Yeah, I try. I actually, this game works on the Xbox One controller if you play it on PC, but the uh, camera analog stick was too sensitive, so I'd like do this every time I touched it. <laughs> so, yeah, unfortunately. Gotta do the old How are you, boy? mouse and keyboard. Uh, I forgot myself. A warrior and a man now, aren't you? Congratulations. Uh, Max. Oh. Uh, oh. uh, got a Viking ship. If you see any rope on your way to the longhouse, be sure to bring it down. We need to keep the ship well provisioned. Ship. One does not keep it open unless you would like another scar. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. <laughs> Lend me your aid later, warrior. The sword master awaits you in the longhouse. Yeah, so I remember on the um, Human Head website, they kind of gave like a prologue. It was written, and it was actually written pretty well. Basically, <sighs> main character is Ragnar. And uh, he just had to fight one of the major warriors in the village, Sigurd, I think. And he beat him. But now, one of the other warriors, uh, what was his name? The guy just mentioned him. Doesn't think that was good enough challenge for one so young, so he wants to test him out for himself. So that's basically what I gotta do. Okay, that's how you block. This game was very much ahead of its time. I mean, you look at hack and slash games at the time and then compare it to this I mean this was yeah you're definitely gonna see Ragnar it's fair time the village added your sword to our ranks friend did Ulf? Uh, no I can see you have yet to visit the weapons master <laughs> An old man and a girl just came into the village, and they told us that Conrak's men are burning the Grove of the Gods. That doesn't sound good. Ragnar, go see Ulf at the Longhouse, and we'll get a cup of meat afterwards. I swear not to laugh at your bruises. Huh. Alright. I had no idea what meat was back then either. I was like, what the fuck is meat? Is it made out of meat? <laughs> Like, what the hell is mead? Greetings, Ragnar. I hope you feel fit and ready for your final training with Ulf. Drink mead from my table to fortify yourself, my son. You yeah. must continue your studies of the ways of war, son. Wisdom will come with experience, and you'll have need of both in these dark times. Slaughter and destruction sweeps across the land. And I fear it approaches our own village. Your mother and I are proud of you, my son. In time, you will take my place and sit in the chieftain's seat in the village longhouse. Be on your way, son. 
Despite the ceremony, you must face Ulf before you can truly call yourself a warrior. He awaits you in the Longhouse. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Now, uh, if I recall correctly, I can talk to Sigurd. Where the hell is he? Very cool to be playing this game, yeah. Apparently the weapons master doesn't share the village's high opinion, boy. He awaits to test your skills in the longhouse. You may have bested me in single combat. But we will cross swords again one day, and then we'll see if your skills are all the elders think they are. Do you seek your courage, boy? If you don't feel ready to face Ulf, perhaps you'll meet me behind the stables. I promise to tell no one who lopped off your sword hand. Asshole. Hey, let's go find Ulf, shall we? Yeah, I forget how much of an asshole Sigurd is. <laughs> yeah, I really love the uh, look and feel of this game. Even after 20 years, it still looks and sounds great. Alright, that's the law. And you have to remember too, back in 2000, nobody was doing Viking stuff. Yeah, I mean, this was like really the first Viking video game. Serious Viking video game, anyway. But now it's, you know, everybody's kind of doing Viking stuff. Hell, there's even a Viking God of War game, so. Yeah. Right, let's fight Ulf, shall we? Now, one thing I found out when I was fucking around on the controls, because I was trying to mess with the controls before doing this, you can zoom in and you can zoom out, and you can go first person, which I was like, oh my god, I've been playing this game for 20 years and I had no idea. Let's see what it looks like, I haven't used a sword yet. Okay, you can't see the sword. Can you see the shield? No. What's that thing? I'm not sure what that thing in the bottom right corner of the screen is. Yeah, well, that's pretty cool though, first person. Too bad you can't see your sword. Because it's actually important to see where your sword is, because you can actually kind of aim. Like, if you want to cut some guy's head off and stuff, you can, like, point up and stuff. And this was a very fucking violent game, too. Like, for the time, yeah. I mean, you can cut arms off, you can cut legs off. I mean, this is... You can even grab him and beat the guy to death with his own arm, so... So, uh, this game was definitely ahead of its time. Do I have to go around? Well, let's... What do I do? Uh... Is there a kick button? Rune power E. Still weapon. One, two, okay. Oh, yeah, you can taunt. Try taunting. <laughs> oh, what do I do? Okay, and then. Okay. 
to do this. Ragnar, after the many hours you've trained, one might think you would know better than to keep me waiting. You're a good boy, but don't think I can't cut a stripling down to size. You may have bested Sigurd and been named the Odin's Blade, but the ceremony at the Rune Stone is nothing but words. Tradition says that before you truly become a man, you must face the most skilled warrior in the village. You must face me. This is the true trial. Defeat me in combat, and your place among us as a warrior is assured. Defend yourself. Well hit, boy. Yes. Yeah, no target lock in this game. Okay, this is a mouse. Get back. Oh, uh, must well, well. Where did you get back? Very violent at the time, so. Blood on the sword is a nice touch. Well done, warrior. The trial is over. For I can see that there is no more I can teach you. I trust experience to show you. Messengers on the beach! Conrak has besieged Copper Rood and their runestone is under attack! We go to their aid! It seems that we have completed your training just in time, Ragnar. To the longship! Let's go get him. The people of Kolperud have been a staunch ally for many generations, my son. And their runestone stands as a proud beacon for longships coming in from sea. Conrak must truly be foolish to besiege their hall. Odin himself will reach down from Asgard and smite the betrayer for his impudence. It's Conrad and Sigurd. Traitor. Conrad, we fought side by side in many battles. Never would I have guessed that a Viking warrior could so betray every belief we served. No longer will I be but a servant, old man. Not to you, not the village, not to Odin himself. Kaparud lies in ruins, and I have a mere handful of rune stones to destroy before all of Midgard will call me master. And how is it that you come to stand by the betrayer's side, Sigurd? Whisking a man across the sea faster than the falcon flies is well within the powers of my new master. Why guard a rock when I can stand at the front of an army set to rule the world? I have 40 men within an axe throw of your hearts. Prepare to visit hell. Let's fucking do it. 40 men. I need but one to kill you myself.
I call upon the dark one, the trickster trapped below. Call upon his powers, call them from the bowels of Midgard, and offer these, his foes, to his immortal lust for power and his insatiable hunger for vengeance. Begins. See, that's another thing too. I don't know why they didn't have Ragnar talk. Like he should have been screaming there. I mean, he just saw his father die. Let's see if I can turn the brightness up a little bit. So I not really good time to be doing this, but uh I love these uh, remastered games on Steam, huh? <laughs> hey, at least it works. So yeah, Ragnar just lost everything. His people, his father, everything. Ragnar. Awaken, warrior. The time for your death is not yet at hand. Video driver. It's gotta be like one of those old fashioned things. I guess you're just gonna have to deal with it. I got some night vision or something. I just hope you guys can see stuff. Not sure what the hell those are. Well, 
gonna stick with the sword. It's faster. Oh shit, that looks like some kind of poison. Uh, looks like. Alright, where am I going? A very impressive start so far, I have to say. And they have light skinned arms. Wires. Wreckage. wreckage. What wreckage? Is wreckage? Ragnar can hold his breath for a while. Shit. There's the wreckage. Sorry guys. Hell, that's probably the guy I was talking to in the village. I wonder where his father is. Yeah, I want to get pissed off about being so dark, but in real life it would be probably even worse than this. Just make my monitor brighter. Okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> let me uh, let me see if I can make my monitor brighter. I don't even know how to do this. The hell button is that to say? I don't know. Alright, well, let's see if I can see. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. Let me go get some oxygen. I can see. I can see. Look at that. Look at that. It's the small things in life, gentlemen. That's a small thing in life. So, my review of the Northmen got like 400 views, but my, uh, no, my trailer, excuse me, for the Northmen, my trailer uh, review preview thing got like 400 views. Oh, shit. But my review for the Northmen only got like 10 views, so. Yeah, that's just how it goes with YouTube. It's very unpredictable. Yeah, stay away from the jellyfish. Is that lava? Sweet. See, I told you the atmosphere in this game is great. <laughs> ah, damn it. That's fucking cool. Um, 
So, I don't really know if any of you have seen The Northman yet, but let me know what you think, please. I loved it. It's definitely my favorite movie of the year. And maybe my favorite movie of recent years. I mean, this is great. Loved it. And, um, yeah, I mean, YouTube, it's just... I know I haven't been posting much lately, and hell, I'm supposed to be going through, uh the Halo games, but I'm just in a Viking mood now, and it's just like, I don't know, man, I'm getting kind of, eh, with YouTube, because I'm just not getting views on the episodes that I work hard on, it's always, like, the random fucking videos, so, it's just, I don't know how to uh, gauge success on it, you know, it's kind of hard to do right now, but, um, you know, I'm still gonna keep posting and stuff, like, I'm having fun. Like, I'm gonna have fun posting on here. And going through this game. That looked painful. So, yeah, I'm just gonna keep at it. Keep at it. I just, uh, hope you guys are enjoying these videos and stuff. That'll be my mark of success, I guess. In case you guys never got to play this game back in the day, I'm glad uh, you get to see it here. Fuck, giant fish, giant fish, giant fish. Yeah. Wow, that was close. Did you see that fucking fish? Jesus, I gotta save. <laughs> that was close. Alright. Any memory on how to do this? Where'd he go? Ah. Is that fucker trying to eat your ass? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I thought the cameras came in handy. Air pressure. Clever. Alright, what am I doing? What do I do? Probably avoiding him. Probably avoiding him. Fuck, I meant to go that way. Shit, shit, da, 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 da. There we go. Oh, yeah, I remember this being a fun jump. Yeah, old school platforming, motherfucker. <laughs> old school platforming. I'm not sure if I was supposed to come this way or what. supposed to go. Oh, fuck it now. And don't die, don't die, don't die. Now, the interesting thing about this uh, version of the game, I'm curious if they're going to add the uh, stuff that was in the PS2 version. Because the original place, the uh, original PC version was uh, kind of simplistic and stuff, like with the enemies and stuff, but the PS2 version actually added some enemies, like uh, uh, frost giants and stuff like that, so I'm kind of curious what this version is going to have. Let's hope that was a good thing. Oh, yeah, this would not be a good day. Not a good day. Oh, he's still alive. Ah. 
Yeah, I can imagine Ragnar being pretty pissed right now. His father's dead. He's got whatever the fuck those are trying to kill him. He's getting stung by jellyfish. Not a good day. To do what? Oh, to, uh... Shafty, I don't know. Just assume everything's trying to kill you in this world. That sound. Uh, I was always curious. Is Scandinavia uh, known for their lizards? <laughs> Lodge lizards. Okay, I'm good, mate. Where we going? This looks like fun. Whole lot of fun. Oh, really? Nice. Hey, uh, got blown. Off of lizards. Look at how metal this game is, man. Oh, fuck yeah. This could, uh, you know, Human Head was making some interesting games back in the day, man. Like they made this, and then they made the uh, first Prey, which was very revolutionary and unique. Too bad the sequel never came out. Thanks, Bethesda. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this game, I love this game, so it's good to be playing it again. Flashbacks to uh, Elder Skulls fighting those things. <laughs> yeah, I love how Ragnar gets bloodied. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Oh wow. Yeah, I forgot how much platforming there is in this. What the fuck was that? Fuck you up. Damn. Never looked 
kill the other ones just fine. But the only problem is with this one. Oh shit. Do you have to kill it? Got you, motherfucker. <laughs> Not liking those guys. <laughs> the fuck is that? Okay, how do I get back to the Today, oh, come on. Maybe you live and let live. How about that? It's not really the Viking way, but. What? Some mead. Definitely takes a little skill. Ah, come on. I timed that right. Bastard. I got some fucking health. Start here. Oh, ha, 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 ha. That's a lot of assholes. That's a lot of assholes. Any idea where you're going? Well, this is old school. I don't think I can swing. Fucking hell, you can make that jump. Hmm. Oh, knock the wall down. Fuck. Uh, ah, don't throw me, don't throw me, don't throw me. Hey, for you. I walked off. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be an interesting game. Oh, yeah. Who wants some? Come on, big boy. Oh, 
Kill him, kill him, kill him. Die. Jesus. <laughs> yep. How you fell with lamb? I don't remember. Uh oh. That's a keyboard. Oh, shit. That's uh, a chat thing. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, I gotta love keyboards. What the hell was that? down here or something. Hear me, son of Jarl. I am Odin. And know that it is the Allfather himself who has saved you from certain death. You seek vengeance upon Conrak, and I have granted you this chance. Your journey through the Underworld will be rife with danger, and you must arm yourself against the creatures that dwell within these caverns. But when next you breathe the open air, you will stand outside the fortress defiled by the Betrayer, the city of Thorstadt. Good journey, warrior. And do not squander this opportunity. Hell yeah. Man, that's how long ago it was when I first played this fan. I didn't even know who it was. I was like, who's this guy? <laughs> it's crazy. Alright. Work our way up, shall we? Okay, I'll handle crap boys, but those fuckers. Yeah, those fuckers? I'm not messing with them anymore. Fuck you. Oh boy, giant, uh, things. Ah, don't fall on those. electrify the water or something? Something like that. Yeah. Cheeky bastards. <sighs> Where am I trying to go? Hmm. 
Ah, fucking hell. Maybe you're trying to go that way? Can you make that jump? Sweet. Walky. Ay, 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 ay. Starting to get good too.
Hey, let's avoid the lava this time. Survive this. women. Yes. I 
that dealt with the dangler fish? I don't know. This. this looks a little ominous. Speaking of, hello guys, I made it to Nithowelm. I think that's what it's called. The land of hell, the underworld, the place where the young, glorious dead go. So. I guess this will be a good place to stop, but I uh, hope you guys keep c coming back and checking out my journey with Ragnar. This is an awesome game, and I hope you will enjoy it. I'll see you next time. Take it easy.